this blue blends with the yellow gold so wonderfully. It's a beautiful blend. It really creates that kind of rainbow-ish look. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elena. I'm your Russian American beauty and makeup addict. I love reviewing and doing tutorials of inexpensive, affordable makeup products from AliExpress, drugstore, teller store, you name it, I'll be a guinea pig and I'll pass the savings to you guys. In this video, I'm doing a review of January Poxy Charm Pox. So I do it every month. So if you guys are interested and want to see what I did and how I created this look and what products came in my box, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and leave me a comment below. Let's get right into this video. So let's get right in the contents of this box. So this is a boxy jar, January box. I'm a little late with this. Most people did their reviews already. I had my reasons, ignore my eyebrows. I got um, microblading touch-ups, so they're still covered with bezeling, so I can't apply makeup around them. So the value of the box, let me see, the total value is $153. In 99 cents that's a very good value I'm very happy with all my box of charm boxes I received so far in the beginning the first box was like eh, I wasn't sure about it now they've been all great so the first item I'm going to talk about is glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask it's very light in consistency it smells just like watermelon it's not super heavy so for dry skin, I would say I need to use a moisturizer under it or over it because it's just a little too light for me. So it has hyaluronic acid, AHAs, and uh, amino acid rich watermelon extract. So this is really nice. It's light and breathable and they're right about it. So the products I actually can apply to my face are going to go next. So let me just list them all before we apply. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Ace Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the one they let you pick colors. So there are two palettes and I picked the one with more blues because I like blues. So this is the sleeve. It's really pretty. The packaging is pretty. It looks like this. And it has a mirror. And that's the colors. It's gorgeous. All of the shimmers, one, two, three, four, five, beautiful. And it's just gorgeous, 12 color palette. So I can't wait to apply it now. So the palette uh, value is uh, $34.99. The Glow Recipe uh, Watermelon Mask was $22 value. Everything is always a great value. So next one is Triple Two Wonder Beauty uh, Blush and Bronzer Duo, and this is thirty six dollars as well. And I'm not sure if it's a typo that it's a bronzer, but it comes with a mirror too. But when you look at it, this is a bronzer. <laughs> really, <laughs> this is like a highlighter or something. It has like a little shin. Maybe I can use it as powder, but it's literally, I don't know if you can even see it. It's almost like my skin tone. Maybe it could be a bronzer for somebody really pale, like really. But the blush looks really pretty, so I'm going to use that. But the bronzer, I mean, that's not a bronzer. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> not on my skin tone. But I'm not bad. It's really nice texture. So next one, uh, a little problematic brand so far. I have not had well, I did buy Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex mascara once and everybody is raving at that mascara. But for me, it was too thick and it was so dry. It literally felt like it was expired or something. I don't know, maybe I got a bad one. But uh, this is what we're getting. Uh, the packaging is beautiful. This is Too Faced Cosmetics Diamond Light Highlighter. So it says it's infused with real crushed diamond powder. 
and light reflecting pearls for a brilliant fancy pink diamond glow. So it's beautiful. The value is $36. The box is gorgeous. This is what the box looks like. And then you take the highlighter out. And that's the box. This is gorgeous. I'm just reviewing this as a product regardless of the brand. So it swatches beautifully. I can't wait to see it on my face. I'm not that crazy about the brand at the moment. It's just too much drama about it, but we're still going to swatch it. So the next one, what else do I have? Oh, we have the Grand Cosmetic uh, Thickening Mascara. So it's Grandma, Grande Drama, not Grandma. <laughs> I said Grandma. <laughs> well, okay, take Russian in reading English, and which was a very, very weird name. It's Grand Drama Intense Thickening Mascara. I finally read it correctly. So this is what it looks like. It's very cold. Let's open this up. I'll try all of this today. It smells good, actually. It smells okay. Nice thick brush. Kind of looks promising. I'm excited about this. So, this was it. All five products. I'm kind of excited about all of them. So, let's try. Uh, start with the eye look. So, apply it to white. You can apply any cream white um, concealer, base, anything that pops the color. It's not necessary, but for me, I just want color to pop. So these are really bright colors. So I want you to try, uh, start with the Grand Canyon, this one. And I'm going to go closer to the inner corner. I'm going to use this Jessa brush. And this is a uh, Lux Petite Grease 231. So I like to place the eyeshadows first. I kind of tap them in there before I actually blend. So I'm going to use the same brush and go into Horizon because this is a very similar color. So I just want to go to a brighter orange and go farther into the crease. I'm going to create kind of ombre orange into yellow. So it's a similar color, but it's brighter and it's lighter. So using a fluffier brush, <laughs> I'm going to use yellow. I'm just laughing because it took me forever to dig out this brush. Uh, this is called Daybreak and this looks gorgeous. I can't wait to use that. So I'm going to apply it close to the inner corner. Very pigmented. Since I had my microblading, my eyebrows are still crusty. I cannot apply any eyeshadow right close to my eyebrows, so I'll just have to blend it out kind of easy and carefully. So it doesn't go all the way. So here's the initial blend. So now I'm going to take another brush. It's a little more dense. And we're going to go into a deeper uh, color, which is, I think I'm going to go do a deep brown fade. I was in between this and this, but I think I want to go to deeper brown and just deepen my outer corner and see how the brown works over the orange. And this is another Jessa brush. This one is 322 Petite Eye Blender. So for the main lid, I want to try um, the shimmery yellow. And I'm kind of feeling this blue. I don't know how blue goes with this look. So this is what ended up happening. <laughs> I kind of went off camera and I had to do this eye because I just was feeling it. I'm like, let me finish one eye. So I created this dramatic look. So it kind of rainbow-ish because it blends from one to another. So that's what I'm going to do here. So for the primer, I kind of just put the white eyeshadow base and I'm going to go in with my finger into Golden Hour first, this shade, and just tap it slightly on the outer corner so we're gonna create this uh, rainbow-ish ombre. These eyeshadows I found best work with finger. It works on the brush, but it's easier to apply with the finger. So now I'm going to go into Serenity. I guess it meant Serenity, but it says S-E-R-E-N-G-E-T-I. -E 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 Maybe that's what it means. So that's like a deep gold. It's real pretty. See that? 
I don't know, I don't think my camera focused better. See this? They're real, real, real pretty gold. Metallics are really nice in this palette. Beautiful. Look at that. Mm. Now I'm going to go into sun. Very, very light yellow. It's almost like a whitish yellow. Real beautiful. And that's another one that's real bright. Cut kind of overlap. These two. And then for the very inner corner, I'm going to with that blue. That blue is absolutely stunning. And this is called Dew. It's like an icy blue. That's the color. I'm really impressed with this palette. So far so good. It blends easily. All the metallics are beautiful. This blue blends with the yellow gold so wonderfully. It's a beautiful blend. It really creates that kind of rainbow-ish look. I cannot highlight my brow bone again because of my uh, permanent makeup. The microblading, I can't really touch that area, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. And for the low lash line, I want to continue with the blend of rainbow colors. And we got sky, cactus, and daybreak. So sky, cactus, and going back to yellow. I kind of like wanna put both of them, the shimmer and matte in the inner corner. I use another Jessa brush and this is a uh, detail shader Jessa 327 uh 237 <laughs> So I want to extend the deep blue out in the outer corner to kind of create this very uh elongated look. It's very dramatic. I love that. I love drama. So I finished the initial blend and this is what the eyeshadow looks like. It looks very bright and colorful, tropical, kind of paradise bird-like, exactly what I wanted to create. It's rainbow palette but not quite because all the tones are muted. So I would say it's a big big yes for this one. It's gorgeous. I used almost every color in this right now. That was my goal except for maybe a couple. Beautiful. I'm really impressed with quality. So this is a big win for the boxy charm. So let me do the eyeliner and we'll be back to test this mascara and then highlight and then the blush. <laughs> so apply this Focalure eyeliner on. I love this eyeliner. It's super fine liquid eyeliner from Focalure. It's very, very good. So on my lips, if you're interested, this is Dose of Colors from another boxy charm box actually and in the color flirty. That's what it looks like. That's a, a liquid matte lipstick. And over top I went with Milani in the color matte innocence, six zero. And that's what it looks like. I like this neutral combo. It really creates nice and creamy look. So now we're going for the mascara. All right, the moment of truth. So this is a grand drama. Intense thickening mascara with castor oil. Castor oil kind of uh, puts me off a little bit because I mean if you put oil into mascara is isn't gonna transfer. I hope not. So let me zoom in so you can see it actually does work well. You just have to go in a few layers of course. So let's assess the situation. It's pretty good. If you don't like very thick uh, and kind of clumpy mascaras. You might not like this one, but I love this. It's thick enough that it's not very liquidy, so I apply it very thickly. I'm not very easy to impress with a mascara. I love my Thrive Mascara and I love Lash Princess by Essence. Those are my two favorites. This is really good. So I'll apply eyelashes and we finish this off with a blush and the highlighter so i'll be right back so here i finished my eyelashes and this is kind of an experiment i stacked a couple of cheap pairs so never mind if they look weird <laughs> but um mascara is a win i loved it so let's move on into the blush first and then the highlighter so i'm going to use a uh, tatty beauty blendiful and i'm going to use this for blush I love using this for powders. There's something about this. 
that creates beautiful finish on bronzer, contour, blush, anything that's powder, not liquid. <laughs> liquid, I'm not sold on it. And that's our blush. It picks up so well. So I'm not reviewing it now, but I just like still impressed how well I apply all powders. So for the blush, it's a nice blush. I like the color, Beline is beautiful. Let me try that uh, Costa Ray bronzer, just to see what it looks like. See how light this is? Let me just see what it looks like on the skin. Yeah, it looks like a light powder. Actually, I might be able to use it as a setting powder. <laughs> we'll see. So now we're going into the product I'm curious, really curious about. Uh, Too Faced highlighter, beautiful packaging, beautiful highlighter. So I'm going to go in again with Tidy Beauty. I'm going to flip it over into a clean part. Here I have a little clean corner here. I'm going to bend it and we're going to go in. The color is nice. I like that rose gold kind of tone. It picks up a product well. So let's see. Oh, it's real, real pretty. I would say it's not the most blinding highlighter, but if you build it up, it can really be beautiful. It's a very soft texture. I would say this one has the um, least chance of emphasizing your fine lines and texture. Because all the highlighters I've been recently reviewing, they're kind of very blinding, but they emphasize anything like if you have fine lines so it have like any scars or texture it's gonna emphasize this one is really really fine it's fine and smooth so i've got the, this final look together the highlighter the blush i love the highlighter it's a beautiful beautiful product i think i have all these cheap highlighters that amazing nothing wrong with being cheap but something about the texture of this highlighter it smooths his skin out I've never experienced anything like it this is it for the boxy charm so what do you guys think I love the product I love everything from this box like literally everything this is probably January box of the first box that I literally liked every single product like wow <laughs> maybe not the bronzer because it's not really bronzer my skin tone but other than that it's really, really nice. So again, quickly going over the products, the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask is really, really a big plus, beautiful mask, very, very soft, beautiful on the skin. Uh, the highlighter, you just saw it, amazing. Beautiful color, everything about it. Uh, the blush and uh, bronzer, I would pass. I mean, I would never buy something like this just for the blush. The blush is beautiful, but the bronzer, I don't know what kind of skin tone you have to have to be able to use this as a bronzer, very light. Uh, the palette, oh my God, this is a winner. This is pretty much the highlight of the whole box. I just love this. This look I created, it's beautiful. This palette is everything. And mascara. Mascara is another win. It's very hard to impress me with a mascara, but this is a really, really good product. So everything is a big win. So if you guys are interested in BoxyCharm, I think it's a really, really good deal. I've been receiving this. This is my fourth or fifth box, and they've all been amazing. Like, they get better and better as I go. So and this is it for my review. If you guys like this video, give this a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to comment if you like Boxy Charm, if you have it, and what you think about the products. Thank you for watching. I'll see you. Bye.